An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A sermon. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, few egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect, pure time and velvet style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be you to the fullest. Students at Pittsburgh University were so triggered by Milo Yiannopoulos' critique of feminism and Black Lives Matter, they demanded counsellors should have been present in the next room to help people who were traumatised by his opinions. Listen to the absurd statements these whinging crybabies made after the event. So many of us shared in our pain. I felt I was in danger, and I felt so many people in that room were in danger. <laughs> This is more than hurt feelings, this is about real violence. That so many people walked out of that event feeling in literal, physical danger is not alright. Real violence? What fucking violence? There was no violence! Words can't sprout fists and punch you in the face. Opinions can't physically manifest into baseball bats. Words aren't weapons, they can't cause physical pain. Bing 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 bing, bong bong bing bing. I'm triggered. You're the only ones engaging in violence when you physically try to stop people from attending a Ben Shapiro lecture. You're the only ones engaging in violent rhetoric when you threaten to bomb Protein World and Gamergate meetups. You whine all day about other people's opinions being violent while using violent intimidation to stop those opinions from being heard. So boo hoo, somebody disagreed with your stupid fucking opinions. Big deal. Somebody go the way. What? What did you say? There's this thing called free speech. Don't know if you've heard of it. It's so broad, it even gives idiots like you a platform to spew bullshit. Oh, but Milo dared to point out that college rape culture was a myth based on fraudulent statistics. The only rape culture in the West is when facts rape social justice warriors. He didn't just say what I think he did, did he? Universities are supposed to be about free-flowing debate, raucous dissent, and having your ideas challenged. Not trigger warning safe spaces and censorship of anyone who you disagree with. If your reaction to your beliefs being put to the test is to start crying and demanding counselling, chances are those beliefs aren't very solid. <laughs> Oh yeah, and being offended isn't a form of activism. Smearing yourselves with fake blood while chanting moronic mantras isn't going to boost your credibility. Listen up, pussies. Your feelings don't have rights. You don't have a right not to be offended. Facts don't care if you flee to your safe space and your crybaby counselling because you can't handle them. Facts don't care about your feelings. Fuck your feelings. Social justice warriors are stupid. Even a fourth grader knows that much. Social warrior justice. Oh. Social justice. Warriors. Warriors are stupid. Say it again. You can say it, it's simple. Social justice warriors are stupid! They're a bunch of dummies. Social warriors are- Social justice warriors. Social warriors. Social justice warriors. Social justice warriors are stupid. Can you see it a little more happy? Say, like, social justice warriors are stupid! Hey, I want my maple! No, just social justice warriors are stupid! 
I identify with nipple clamps. Feeling triggered yet? <laughs>